Hi guys, I'm Karen Cavett. Welcome back to HGTV Handmade. I am so excited that it is back to school time because school supplies and stationery are my favorite things in the world. One of the things that you guys are always asking for is more DIY pencil cases. So today I'm going to show you five ways to make an adorable pencil case out of a sandwich bag. Let's get started. You're going to need a quart-sized sandwich bag for each of these. I think it looks nice if you cut off the bottom to get a shorter rectangle, so cut it to whatever size you want and then use packing tape to seal up the bottom again. Then to make a rainbow, start laying down different colors of duct tape, overlapping each one as you go. Once you've covered the whole front, fold over the excess onto the other side, and then repeat the pattern on the other side. This time, if there's any overhang, just cut it off. And then to make it look a little cleaner, cut thin strips of white tape and cover the top and the bottom of the pencil case. And that's it. I think this is adorable and colorful and perfect for back to school. Don't put away your duct tape just yet though. Next we're going to make this watermelon pencil case. This time print out a pattern that's the size of your sandwich bag and cut down the bag so that the pattern fits perfectly on top. Seal the bottom with packing tape, only this time, since we're not covering the entire thing with duct tape, cover the rest of it with packing tape too, so that it's a little stronger than just a sandwich bag. Once you've done that, grab a cutting mat and lay down three strips of green tape. Carefully cut around the pattern to get a half circle, then pick it up and press it down right onto the sandwich bag. Repeat that on the other side. Now cut off the outer ring of the pattern, and this time cut it out from white tape. Pick it up and lay it right on top of the green tape, and repeat that on the other side. And now we're going to do all of that one more time, only with pink tape to really make it look like a watermelon. To finish it off, lay down some black tape and cut out seed shapes with a craft knife. Carefully pick them up from the cutting mat and press them down in a random pattern. And that's it. Literally, could this get any cuter? I don't think so. And if you're not into watermelons, you could totally make this with other round shapes, like a lemon, a donut, or if you're more into sports than food, maybe a soccer ball. Next, we're going to make this easy pencil case with a fun cutout, and you could make the cutout any shape that you like. For this one, we're going to be using contact paper, so cut a piece that's a little wider than your sandwich bag. Then either trace or freehand draw the shape you want to cut out, making sure that it's centered on the sandwich bag. Once you have that cut out, remove the backing and press the sandwich bag onto the contact paper. Cut the sides to get tabs that you can fold over onto the back and then cut off the sides of the rest of the contact paper. Carefully fold the bag up and cut off any excess. And then to finish it up, you can add a few strips of duct tape to the inside of the bag so that you'll see a nice color peeking through. And that's it. You can cut out your initial or a heart or any shape you like. And once again, this is perfect to carry around all of your school supplies. So you can get really creative with these pencil cases. For this next one, I cut the bottom off at an angle to get a geometric shape. Then you guys know how much I love washi tape. So I covered the bag with strips of fun, colorful tape. Just like before, fold the excess over onto the back and continue the pattern on the back until it's completely covered. Then in order to make it really last through the entire school year, cover the whole thing with clear packing tape to really seal in all of that washi tape. I think this is adorable and everyone's gonna wanna know where you got your super cool pencil case and you can just be like, um, I made it and it's one of a kind. 
And finally, you can also make a double pocket pencil case to carry around even more school supplies. You'll need two sandwich bags for this one, so just like before, cut them to the size you want and seal the bottom. Then place them on top of each other and use more packing tape to attach the sides together. Then you can cover it with duct tape just like we did before. I decided to do one side white and one side black. There's also going to be another pocket where the two bags sit on top of each other, so you can either seal that up like I did here, or you can leave it open, maybe add a hook and loop closure, and have a bonus pocket in your pencil case. To finish it off, I decided to label each side with these holographic letter stickers. I did M on one side for markers, and P on the other side for pencils. So now you can carry around your entire art kit in one place and basically have the coolest pencil case in school. So I would love to know in a comment which pencil case was your favorite or how you would decorate yours. If you want another idea, I actually made a heart envelope version over on my main channel, along with a lot of other DIY school supply ideas. So I'll link that video right down below if you haven't seen it yet. Good luck in school, and I'll see you guys next time.